you'll notice on our satellite and radar that we've been tracking for the last couple of hours, those scattered storms in the high country regions, well, they were moving through during this afternoon, but still nothing locally. We are still seeing those beautiful blue clear skies outside on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, but that is soon to shift. We have been looking forward to some subtropical moisture that's going to get tracked on in, but those temperatures we saw today in those mid 90s are about a full five degrees above those averages, and that's just due to this high pressure that's been sticking around, but we're watching things shift. We'll notice we're tracking on in that moisture I mentioned and that's bringing in some pretty widespread showers carrying tomorrow, Thursday and even into Friday. As this high pressure shifts just a little bit, we're also getting that cool down as that rain moves on in and well does what it does, especially with that cloud coverage and gives us those 80s ahead of us. But again, like I mentioned, 95, 96 degrees recorded in Grand Junction this afternoon, triple digits in Moab. We still have some triple digit days expected for the desert valleys ahead of us for the month of August, 89 through Montrose. We were seeing those kind of low to mid 80s through both Gunnison and Aston, Carbondale, Glenwood Springs also in those 90s, which of course is above those averages like I mentioned. Those average temperatures are just slowly dropping on down a few degrees every single day. Soon we'll be seeing those 80s ahead of us, but we'll see that even a little bit earlier than what those seasonal averages are telling us because we'll be seeing even at flat 80 on Thursday. We'll see those mid 80s on Friday and Saturday carrying into Sunday. The weekend also is going to dry out after we have these widespread storms being dragged right on in. And in fact, I'll jump into the details of this in a moment, but this monsoonal moisture could indeed actually cause some flash flooding. We're looking at some pretty serious threats ahead of us. Uh, we'll get into the details of that in a moment because I do want to share on Thursday night, if you have those plans, Thursday daytime and Friday daytime, grab that umbrella, uh, grab that rain jacket, grab a real jacket. It's going to be a little bit on that cooler side of things as we see that 60, 70% chance for showers. Let's take a closer look here into tomorrow though. 1 p.m. There is a chance or two for a shower. 2 p.m. We'll see a little bit more of a severe storm. We'll continue to see that into the 3 p.m. hour and then we'll start to see that shift down the I-70 corridor. Dinner time hours on Wednesday. Glenwood Canyon. I wouldn't be surprised if there are some travel impacts associated with this water hitting the ground. 8 p.m. A lot of those more so southern regions. Uray, Montrose, Paonia. We're going to start to receive just a little bit more of a severe thunderstorm. And by that 10 p.m. hour, those severe thunderstorms are still sticking around before lightening up just a tad in the middle of the night into Thursday and then we'll watch that shift out again before almost kind of a, a rinse and repeat on Thursday afternoon where we'll see some severe storms here, some severe storms there and then of course that clearing before Friday we're also expecting it to look fairly similar in terms of those risks. Heavy wind, gusty outflow winds are definitely there. Uh, we're also seeing heavy rainfall again. That flash flooding is possible. There is small sized hail that could be associated with these storms and some lightning. We'll even notice here as we get into tomorrow, kind of late afternoon, dinner time hour, as that uh, more severe storm kind of round rolls on in, we're seeing some pretty severe lightning that can be expected through Grand Junction. And then I also want to touch on, well, just those flash flooding regions because uh, if it'll, this will change, I feel like it's going in slow motion for me. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow some marginal risk. By the time we look into Thursday, we'll start to see that slight risk. So definitely a little bit more of a chance, especially for those rural areas as those storms move on through on Thursday. Discovery Auto Group's seven-day forecast has those temperatures decreasing uh, and staying a little bit cooler into the weekend when some drier air shifts on in, even into the early work week with Montrose trailing fairly close behind. We'll even see some 70s on Thursday and Friday.